Hello guys, how's it going? Max here with another video. Today I have here an HP laptop that's having keyboard issues. So today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the keyboard on this specific model. So in order to find the right replacement keyboard, you want to make sure you flip the laptop over and look for the serial number and model number. You can find the serial number right here. It's a little bit small, but you can see it right here, serial number. So you use the serial number to look up the correct replacement parts that you'll need. So let's get started. So first things first, we'll take the battery out. That way there's no power going into the computer. Uh, all right, battery's out. So once the battery's out, we can go ahead and look for this screw right here. This is what's holding the keyboard in place. So let's use a Phillips screwdriver. All right, and that's the only screw that we need to take out. Once the screw is out, we can go ahead and flip it over. Now, let's try and pry up the, the keyboard so we can lift it. So with this part, you have to be a little bit extra careful because the ribbon cable is somewhere along the line right here. So you have to be extra careful so you don't break it. So I usually start around the edges first before going further. So there you go. You start around the edges, make sure that it's coming up. As you can tell, this keyboard is pretty dirty. So that makes sense that it needs to be replaced because there's a lot of dirt and food residue on this keyboard. So. So right here, just keep going along the edges until you fully lift it up. As you can see, that is coming off on this part right here. This one's a little bit hard, but I'll go around it and make sure that it's coming off. And there you go. Once it's completely out, you have to be really careful. And our ribbon cable is right here. So I can use my opening tool to lift this up. Yeah, these typically are hard to lift up. So let me use my bare hand to do this. So I'll make sure that, there you go. Once it's up, we can pull the ribbon cable out. And there you go, keyboard is out. If you're having issues finding the, finding the correct part with the serial number, so you can use this specific HP part number right here to look up the correct keyboard for this specific model. Yeah, this is a little bit dirty, so I need some compressed air to try and clean it up a little bit. Yeah, this is one of my big, biggest pet peeve of working on users' computers. It's, some of these are extremely dirty. And yes, to, you can find these at Walmart. They're probably around like five bucks or so, pretty cheap. And I had someone that used a wet wipes to clean their PC and they're damaged their screen. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna use compressed air. All right, so now Let's get our replacement keyboard. So you can find these keyboards on Amazon, eBay, wherever you get your parts, as you can see, brand new. So we'll go ahead and take that out. All right, so now let's put the ribbon cable in, make sure this is up so the ribbon cable can go in properly. And once it goes in completely, we can go ahead and, there you go. So the 
ribbon cables in. And I can go ahead and press down on this. There you go. Ribbon cables in. And that should be it. Obviously, I need to run a test for this. But I'm just not going to do it on camera because this is not my computer. So I'll run a test and be back in a few minutes. All right, guys. So I'm back after the initial testing. Everything is good to go. So now we'll just go ahead and put the keyboard in place and make sure it's secured. Let's make sure this is seated properly. make sure all these all these are in all the way this this keyboard is slightly different from the original but not by much let's make sure that it's it's in all the way Just keep pushing along the edges until it clicks. And there you go. Keyboard is good to go. And that should be it. We can just go ahead and put our battery back in place. Let's make sure this is locked. And there you go. That should be it. So if you're having keyboard issues with this specific model, use the serial number to find your model, or you can always take the keyboard out, get the part number from the keyboard and find you the correct replacement part. So there you go. That should be it for today, guys. So if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.